Welcome to my Cisco Routing and Switching Essentials Essentials Lab Review. In this lab, we're looking at Lab 6.4.1.6, Configuring IPv4 Route Summarization Scenario 2. So what I've done was we're going to be dealing with this chart predominantly, HQ branch, branch 2, and all the lands. So we're going to be working out specifically part one for the majority of it. So what I've done was I've already broken it all up into binary for us. So again, we're looking for what's similar. So we're going to be locking in all of those because those are all very similar with one another. But you'll notice here not all of it's similar. The fir uh, first bit's similar, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth bit are all the same. The remaining three bits are all different. So we can draw a line, a metaphorical line. One, two, three, four. And all of these are the same. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here is our new appropriate subnet mask, which happens to be 255.255.248.0. We can actually go ahead and lock it into place. So I actually got a different answer than the instructor guide because the instructor guide shows that as 252. But looking at those numbers, it cannot be. So these are the ones that will be lining up. We'll be starting with 64. And so that is our summarized address. Going on to what's the summary route for branch one. Again, all of those are the same. And most of these are the same. Except this last one, which I did a typo. 70, 70, 71. So you're going to notice the first seven bits are the same, the last bit not being the same. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. All of those being zeros, one, two, three. All of these being one, since we're matching all of them, one, two, three. So with that said, this will be 255, 255, 254, zero. Again, the instructor guide has a different hand, but you know what? That is okay. We are going to be matching 172, 22, and we should be matching 70. That will be zero. I forgot to do my decimal places. So this will be the summarized address for part B. What is the summary route for branch two? Again, I've already matched the first two octets. We're looking specifically at this third octet. So we're going to be matching the first, I believe, five bits here. One, two, three, four, five. The rest will be zeros. So here are subnet math, we two five five, two five five, two four eight zero. And we'll start with the lowest number again. Sixty-eight. And this will be our 
address for our summarized address for branch two. Last, they want us to do all of the appropriate VLANs, or LANs, sorry. Here again, the first two octets are the same. So we're going to look specifically at these column right here. And we're going to notice, again, the first five are the ones that are all matching. So the ones that are matching, we're going to put ones at. And that'll be 255, 255, 248, 0. And again, we're starting with 64.0. That will be our newly summarized address. All right, so now that we've done that, we've done all the calculations. It actually wants us to do our configuration. Let's hop over to the HQ router. Let's get to our config terminal. First thing we want to do is IP route 172.22.70.0. We're sending that out serial zero. The next one will be recursive summary routes on HQ to reach branch two. So IP route 172.22.68.0. Okay, I'm gonna double check the subnet map. All right, so I do wanna point out, I did make an error here we're actually matching the first six bits, not just the first five. That changes that to 252. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna double check all the numbers just to make sure. Here, we're matching the first five for branch one. We're matching almost all of them. All right, that one we just fixed. And four looks good. All right. That does mean that we need to go back because this is for branch one. And the instructor guide had an error where it was showing a slash 24, but this is actually what we came up with for branch one. So now we'll go ahead and we will do HQ to branch two IP route one seventy two dot twenty two dot sixty eight dot zero again this is the one for branch two we're gonna be sending this to the next hop which is one seven two dot twenty two dot seventy one dot six all right, so with that said, we've done step part two. We've done that one right there. We're going to be moving on to step two. So we're going to go to branch one. Get to its CLI. Get to its configuration mode. Big team. We're going to be setting up IP route. The first one should be going to HQ. This is the one that we did where it's this summarization address. 
So IP route 172.22.64.0, 248.0. We're sending this one to our next hop, which is 172.22.71.1. Next, we'll be sending our route to branch 2. So we'll do 172.22.68.0. Again, we're doing branch 2. That's going to be branch 2's summarized address. And again, we're sending this one out. 71.1. So we finished part two, step two. Next, we're going to go ahead and do step three on branch two. Get its configuration mode, IP route. Here we're going to be looking at from branch 2 to branch 1. Here is the, again, the appropriate summarized address for branch 1. 172.22.68.0. And we're doing sending this one out, our serial 0, 0 1 interface. Next IP route will be for branch 2 going to HQ. Again, this is our summarized address for HQ. 172.22.68.0. And we are going to be sending this one out 172.22.71.5. Next, or lastly, step four, we're going to be configuring a summary route on all ISP to reach all networks. On the ISP router, which normally we would not be touching, but apparently in this case we can, we're going to hop over to its configuration mode, IP route. And this is actually going to be this last summarized address that we did. 172.22.64.0, 248.0. And we're going to be sending this out that interface. So. I'm going to hop on the ISP router, I'm going to try to ping uh, a random address on HQ, 172.22.64.1, and it works. I'm going to try to ping something on LAN 6. 172.22.69.2. No, and it works. So we are acting then with this lab. I am kind of curious if I check results, what will I come up with? It is showing incorrect routes. However, that is actually an error in this packet tracer lab because those labs are the correct summarized routes. I want to thank you.